she came here once back a long, long years ago, but and and she she shifted us. She did. Oh, you're the people of this town. No, no. She had done turned us into the people of this town. We's the mice of this town. You're the mice of this town that she turned into the people of this town, and I... now you're the mice again. But you can talk. My cousin Ogbert was turned into a man. He was something terrible. They were right off her arm. I was scurrying about looking for a bite of cheese, I was. And a lady shown up as she done with a crown and, and wings and that floating and that. And she had come out to help. There there was a, a, a giant, you know, like yourself, a human. Um, and she, she was a nice enough lass and always shared some crumbs for us. And she slept right there in that bed by the fireplace. And, and what, one night, as it were, she took her wand up like this, she did, and she turned us into people. Oh, no. It was like we wanted to drive a coach made out of a pumpkin to a ball, and we came back, and we remembered everything about it. She made us want to be good servants, and, and we didn't even understand things like that. Oh, so... It was a whole four and a half hours, it was of being people, unnatural like. She, she, she does it, you know. She see some young lass uh, who uh, wants to win Queen of the Mayfair. And she, she don't care, no difference. And she'll make a donkey a butler and a mouse a coachman and, and, and a, a bucket into a valet. And then there I am, a man talking to a man, but I'm a mouse and he's really a bucket. <laughs> It'll drive you mad if you think about it. That could be a man. No, what? <laughs> it could. If she wants it, she'll turn you into anything, anything at all. Can I help you? What? Do you want to come with us? No, please, just don't tell anyone we're here. She hadn't come back oh. as long as there's not. Wait a minute. You're a young lassie. No. Ah! I'm actually what 118. Did she look like? You're 118. You I'm look 100. great. Thank you so much. 